What's up guys, Jordan here with Objective-C Tutorials Lesson 21 Xcode Preferences. Now I had originally intended on doing this lesson back when I first started these Objective-C Tutorials, but I just never quite got around to it, so I'm going to go ahead and show you uh, Xcode Preferences today. Now, uh, first go to Xcode, then Preferences, and it'll open up the Preferences. And as you can see, um, there's many different categories here in Preferences, but the first one uh, I'm really going to focus on is debugging because there's this really cool feature in the debugging category uh, where it says on start right here make sure this says show console and debugger by default it'll say it'll have do nothing but make sure it says show console and debugger and what this allows you or what it uh, tells Xcode to do is every time you build and run a program it automatically opens the console and the debugger because and this is really nice for us because right now all our programs are being run in the debugger so um, instead of having to go to run and then debugger or console every time it actually be the console. Um, you, it'll just automatically open up after you build and run it. And let's say uh, we're actually developing iPhone applications. We don't need the console anymore uh, that often. You can just do show debugger. So whichever one. For right now, I like having show the console and the debugger. Now the next one I'm going to go over is fonts and colors. And this is a really cool. Uh, category because you can actually create your own own little uh, font schemes and uh, right here I have one uh, I called it Objective-C uh, Lessons and it's a little bit bigger font so when I do the recordings it's a little bit clearer for you guys now let's say I uh, like this Xcode default one and I'm not going to be doing a recording just gonna be coding something that I've been working on uh, you just hit apply and it's switched over to this other type of font. Now, if you want to create your own, you just create uh, whichever one you kind of like the best. Um, so let's say this is kind of close to what I'm going to do. And then I'm just going to modify a little bit. You just hit duplicate and then you just name it whatever you want. And there you go. You now have a, a little font scheme my font you can change it around change the size uh, do whatever you want and now all the comments will be uh, Hofler text 18 so you can just do lots of little uh, customizations you can change the color do whatever you want with that and uh, when you're done just hit apply and if you want to switch to another one then you just switch to another one and hit apply now uh, also under indentation uh, there's different uh, settings for which uh, characters are automatically indented how much the indentation is uh, under documentation and this is a really nice one it shows you all the documentation that you have if you'd like to get one you just hit get enter your password and then it'll download that documentation um, there's building options uh, just lots of different stuff code sense uh, on code completion there's some options on that there's just a lot of different features in Xcode that you definitely should check out I didn't go I'm not gonna go through everything because there are just lots of tiny little uh, options but I went over the main ones that you definitely should check out and uh, give a try to but anyways uh, I know this is a really short lesson, but next week is going to be a really big lesson. Uh, going to be going over the NS number object, so that will be really cool. Uh, that will be lesson 22. So, uh, as always, thanks for watching and checking out this video. Check out some of my other Objective-C tutorials if you haven't already, and some of my Mac tutorials. As always, leave a comment below, like this video, and please subscribe if you haven't already. And thanks for watching.